Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Seth's Story Time. So, today's story that we're reading is Thomas and Friends, Thomas in Trouble. And it's based off the Series 11 episode of the same name, and also the same name from Series 1. But this is the Series 11 version of this book. So... Let's see what Thomas is up to today. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. It was a busy day for the engines on the Fat Controllers Railway. Gordon was taking passengers across the island. He felt splendid. Henry was delivering logs to the timber yards. He was right on time. Percy was pleased to be pulling mail trucks. And James was happily hauling flatbeds. But Thomas and Emily were at the fittest yard for repairs. I can't wait to get back to work, peeped Thomas. I am taking the school choir to their concert. Soon, Emily was ready to go back to work. But Thomas had to stay behind and wait for his final inspection. Goodbye, Thomas, Emily whistled. Good luck. Thomas was still waiting for his inspection when James puffed into the yard to deliver some paint. Bosh my boiler, James laughed. You have broken down, Thomas. No, I haven't, huffed Thomas crossly. You must have done, snorted James. Otherwise, you wouldn't be at the fittest yard. What a shame you're not a smart and useful engine like me. James has always been boastful and teasing Thomas most of the times. <laughs> Just then, the fat controller arrived. Thomas, he boomed, are you ready to take the score choir to their concert? Nearly ready, sir, puffed Thomas excitedly. Nearly ready isn't good enough, said the fat controller replied. Thomas didn't want anyone else to collect the choir. Carrying the children was his favourite job. He decided he would leave before his final inspection. I'm ready now, sir, he puffed. The fat controller was pleased. Thomas quickly puffed out of the fittest yard to pick up his carriages, Annie and Clarabel. Further down the line, Thomas began to make some very strange noises. Clangity clong, clangity clong, something's wrong, sang Annie and Clarabel. They could tell something was wrong with Thomas. But Thomas wasn't listening. He was too excited about collecting the school choir. The school choir cheered as soon as they saw Thomas. All aboard, chuffed Thomas as he clangity clonged into Knapfoot Station. Who is that making that nasty noise? wished Emily. Did you have your final inspection, Thomas? This made Thomas cross. I'm fine, Thomas huffed. The choir got on board and he steamed away. Thomas rattled even more. Clangity clong, clangity clong. Thomas had to stop at a signal. He was feeling, he was feeling very hot and bothered. Toby saw that something was wrong. 
Did you take on enough water at the fitter's yard? He asked kindly. There's nothing wrong with me, replied Thomas crossly. Just then, the signal changed and Thomas puffed away noisily. When Percy saw Thomas at a level crossing further up the line, he was rattling and steaming more and more. What's happened to you? peeped Percy. You look all puffed out. Thomas didn't like being told there was something wrong with him. So when the barrier opened, he huffed away. Clangity clong, clangity clong. What's going to happen next? I bet you most Thomas fans had seen it. But let's find out. Then there was trouble. Thomas began to chuff slower and slower and slower. I need a rest, Thomas gasped as he clangity clonged into a siding. Sting burst from his boiler and black smoke flew from his funnel. With a final rattle, Thomas broke down. He felt terrible. The school choir began to sing while they waited. The children will be late for their concert and it's all my fault, Thomas wailed sadly. I've let everyone down. He was upset. Just then, Gordon puffed around the bend. Gordon could see that Thomas was in trouble, but he couldn't stop to help because he had his own passengers on board. Sorry, Thomas, steamed Gordon. I'm a guaranteed connection. Now what am I going to do? cried Thomas. He was very worried. Just then, Thomas heard a whistle. It was James. Thomas tooted as loudly as he could. Stop! Bosh my boiler, laughed James. I said you were a broken down little engine. I am, sighed Thomas, and I need your help. Can you take the children to their concert? James didn't laugh at Thomas. He could see that Thomas was in trouble and he was happy to help his friend. I'll get them there on time, he promised. Thomas knew he had to get back to the yard to be repaired as soon as possible. Henry was sent to collect Thomas. He soon arrived and quickly shunted Thomas to the fittest yard. Before long, Thomas was as good as new, and this time he waited patiently for his final inspection. You have been very patient, Thomas, said the Fat Controller. As a reward, I have a special job for you. Thomas was delighted. He wondered what the special job could be. Thomas, he announced, now you are fixed. You are to collect the school choir and bring them home again. Oh, thank you, sir, tooted Thomas happily. Thomas chuffed to the consent. Clangity clong, nothing is wrong, he laughed. And that is the end of the story. So, what do you think 
for Thomas and Friends, Thomas in Trouble. You can just let me know in the comments if you like it. Also, give me likes as well and turn on notification. Request me some more videos. And don't you steal my videos. And subscribe to Seth Loves Fizz and Bella 2003. All right. I wonder which next Saturday story time will be. Do you want to guess? Well, you can't keep guessing while I'm filming this. Well, you're just going to have to wait till next week. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.